You know, I've joked and teased with all the important people in the world, but I really never met a man I didn't like. These are the words that echo through our minds and through the halls of the Will Rogers Memorial Museums. The life and times, the legacy and the spirit of one of Oklahoma and the Cherokee Nation's favorite sons live on in the middle of our heartland. Welcome to the celebration of the life of Will Rogers. The Will Rogers Memorial Museums are the premier destinations to introduce, showcase, and celebrate the life, legacy, and spirit of Will Rogers. When you enter these landmark spaces, you will immediately feel the presence of the man himself. There is a mission statement shared by all who work or volunteer at the museums, and it is to collect, preserve, and share the life, wisdom, and humor of Will Rogers for all generations. Purchased in 1911 by Will Rogers himself, this property was meant to be his retirement homestead so he could look out on his self-proclaimed hometown, the city of Claremore. But Will's untimely death in 1935 came as a shock to America and to the world, but no greater than to his own family. But out of this tragedy, the land was donated to the state and the dream of building this memorial dedicated to preserving the life and legacy of this great man was born. Completed in 1938, this unique museum is home to a variety of attractions. From its nine galleries, complete with paintings, memorabilia, artifacts, and 13 audiovisual stations, to the motion picture theater where Rogers movies play daily, all the way to its 2,400 square foot library, visitors and researchers alike will be immersed into the life of Will Rogers. What is little known is that this facility houses the world's largest collection of Will's work and personal effects. But what is perhaps most unexpected, yet moving, is the fact that the sunken garden holds the final resting place, the tomb of Will Rogers and his family. But this is not the only place to catch a glimpse of Will Rogers' life. You can also take a step back in time and visit Will's birthplace ranch. Completed in 1875 by Will's father, Clem, this house is a comparatively rare surviving example of buildings on the former Indian Territory frontier and was the birthplace to Will Rogers himself. Today, this working ranch spreads out over 400 acres and comes complete with a period barn, longhorn cattle, and other farming operations. When you're there, you're sure to run into the ranch manager, Jim Williams. He wears the spurs while he's riding his favorite horse, Smokey. Uses his lasso to catch calves and can twirl a fancy loop just like Will Rogers. Everything that was Will Rogers started right here. Will Rogers used to say, my ancestors didn't come over on the Mayflower, but they met the boat. Will was very proud of his Native American heritage. Both his parents were Cherokee, with his mother being a descendant of a Cherokee chief. Trained to rope and ride by a freed slave, Will's mastery of roping earned him the nickname Cherokee Kid. His legendary career began in 1902 as a performer roping in a Wild West show in South Africa and then on tour in the U.S. and Europe in vaudeville and the Zakefield Follies. From there, he went on to star in radio and movies and win worldwide acclaim as a political pundit, a newspaper man, philosopher, and so much more. But his most important career began as a family man. So if you ever find yourself on Route 66 and happen to be in Claremore, stop on by the Will Rogers Memorial Museum and experience firsthand the life and legacy of Will Rogers. An adventure awaits you inside these doors and on these hallowed grounds. I've been all over the world, but there's just uh, there's just no place like home, and, and no place no place looks as good as this once you've been there. And the more you travel, the more you travel in Europe, I'll tell you what, the, the better this country looks. <laughs>